Look how cute this is! party Hannah's last splash I'm so excited to take you through this video tell you how I planned the entire thing show you how I put it all together and just get you guys in the bachelorette or party planning mood if you're new here welcome my name is Gracie and I'm just kind of all over the place in life these days but my number one role in life at the moment with 28 days left to go is being the maid of honor in my sister Hannah's wedding and so today we are in full-on party planning mode showing you guys how I'm gonna create the best bachelorette party ever on a little bit of a budget my sister is having a destination wedding with which is very expensive. So I cut down the bachelorette costs very, very minimally to what I could do to include all food, all drinks, decorations, gifts, and games down to $220 per person. But also, I should mention, we're gifted the place that we are staying. This is my parents' house down in the Florida Keys. So thank you so much to my parents for letting us stay here and party our tails off all weekend. Let's get into the video about how I plan this bachelorette party and I'm gonna show you how I did it all. Okay, so right now I am starting to make the visors for Hannah's bachelorette party. I have seen visors all over Pinterest, all over Etsy for bachelorette parties, but I just couldn't stomach the $12 a visor. So I was like, hmm, how can I do this myself? I already have a Cricut Joy from working with Cricut a little bit ago. Love it. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna look it up. Found a pack of visors. These are like the exact ones that are on Etsy for I think $32 for 10 visors. That makes them like $3.20 a piece. And then I already have the vinyl. I already have the Cricut program. I already have the machine. So the rest of it to me is free. And so what I'm gonna do is every bridesmaid's name, my sister's name, I'm gonna put on the front. So like here's her friend Christina's name. And basically these are gonna go on the corner here. So this is Cricut Design Space on my desktop and here are the four remaining names of the bridesmaids. And so basically I have it all in this font which is called Annie Lou and they're all size 110.3. I don't know, that's just kind of how it worked out. And basically what I'm gonna do is hit make it. They're gonna cut out on the little Cricut Joy and I've got all of the white vinyl right here and so I'll show you kind of how it's doing that. Are these actually protective of the sun? No, but it's so fun. I didn't wanna do anything like bridesmaid or anything like that so that these girls can wear them at the wedding and other places that might just have a really fun theme. I also just loved how these ones in particular had a bunch of different colors with the iridescent but they have a lot of colors like plain blue, pink, green, you name it, they've got it. And these are on Amazon, so I'll make sure to have these linked in my storefront. So here's what they look like. And I'm just going to be putting them on the corner here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'm really grateful because this ended up being less expensive. I really tried to cut down on the expenses because my sister is having a destination wedding, which means everyone's gotta pay a lot of money to get over there and stay at the resort and different things like that. So I really tried to do my best on the bachelorette things and cover as much as I could or pick things I knew that I could do myself to save everybody a little bit of money. But yeah, this is the DIY and I will show you once I'm ready to start putting some of these on. I just filmed this whole thing about putting um, one of them on and turns out I wasn't recording, but look, I started with Christina's because hers was cooperating and Hannah's was not. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Even if you didn't have some of the materials like the vinyl color or whatever, I still think this would be cheaper than buying it or find a friend who has a machine like this who might be able to help you out because these are gonna be a highlight at least for me. I think they're so cute. little visors done I even have extras for a couple of people who aren't able to make it to the bachelorette I just think that these are so 
those stinking cute. They're just gonna be little fun gifts. But I did wanna do something fun for the bridesmaids and the people who are coming. So I'm gonna show you sort of my idea and what I've done so far and everything that I'm about to show you, I believe is from Amazon or Etsy. So this will have gone up after the bachelorette party. So no need to worry about seeing any of this. I ordered these Lululemon belt bag dupes off of Amazon. They were slightly less than $20 each. And I ordered a ton of these Stony Clover Lane-esque white. I did white for everybody, white patches. And so I've already stuck Hannah's on. They are stickers. They're not like iron-on or anything, which I was a little worried about, but I tested it out myself. I bought myself a different color one and put my little G patch on it. I brought a black one for myself because I don't have a black one. So I figured I would switch mine up so that I could test it out. And I wore mine all day to Disneyland California and it stayed on. So here is Hannah's, which I have already done. She's getting white, obviously, as the bride. And then I just kept all the bridesmaids according to not only the bachelorette theme, but also to Hannah's wedding theme and went with this beautiful, like dusty blue color. Here's the S for our sister, Sarah decided that she would be the first one, see if I liked it. I didn't want to do anything at all for the bachelorette that said bridesmaid, bride, chive. I know that's some people's things, but I just try to think about, okay, would I ever wear this again? And the answer was usually no. So I decided to go with like names, initials, different things that people could keep, remember that it was from Hannah's bachelorette party, but not be able to never wear it again, because I think the money I'm spending, the money that they've put in toward it, I wanted everyone to love it. So here, is Sarah's and then I just got in everyone else's so I've already pulled their patches aside for letters and I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I did this again this will all be linked in my storefront but here's how the belt bags come not only are Lululemon sold out but these are definitely cheaper and I think they're pretty much exactly the same and I own two Lululemon versions of the belt bags and I just think the quality is amazing so what I'm gonna do is everyone's goes in this left bottom hand corner so I'll pick the T and her little letter is just gonna be peeled back and stuck right here all these letters came in a pack now here's the issue if you have girls like Abby and Elena or something like that where it's two A's you probably will have to get two packs or figure that out all the bridesmaids that are coming to the bachelor all have different first initials it's like oh my gosh that is perfect so really the back just peels off and it's super sticky. And then I'm just gonna flatten the bag here. I'll show you another angle of this in a sec and just find the bottom corner and just literally press it down super hard. I make sure that there are no wrinkles in the fabric underneath. And you guys, it's just that simple. It's so cute. It looks so much more expensive than it actually was. And this again, is something that these girls will be able to wear around anywhere on hot girl walk, out at the resort, anything like that. And I also think this is a color blue that isn't like disruptive to any outfit. I feel like this is a very neutral, beautiful blue color. So I'm just gonna keep putting these on again, just pulling back the stickers. Guys, it literally does not get more simple than this. And it's, you'd never think something like this costs like $21 a girl and it's so dang cute. Okay, we have another bachelorette party edition. I am doing little party favors as we've seen and this is sort of the last piece of the puzzle. I just went to Target and bought these little mini Prosecco bottles. I did the Rose Prosecco only because they literally had two of the regular Prosecco and I'm putting these custom little labels on them. I love doing these to bottles and getting these off of Etsy. I will link shop down below like everything else collection rose bottles because they were like $3.59 at Target versus like $6 for the little marca. So I ended up doing that. But here are the little labels. It says time to party our tails off. Hannah's last splash. Trading her tail for veil 10, 21, 22 because that's her wedding day. And the Etsy seller was so accommodating. So I was like, can you change some of the colors so that it matches the theme with the purple and the teal? And she did such a great job. So I'm just going to show you kind of how I'm doing this. These labels on these Target brand ones come off so easily. So I've actually been peeling them off on her like instructions. It was like, you might need to soak them to come off. But these are coming right off. And the labels that I got are bigger than the ones on the bottle. So you don't don't even see any stickiness that's left over then I'm just peeling off the back I'm gonna take it because these labels are also a little bit bigger I'm just gonna lay it down on the counter to center it centered it pretty well and then just you know make sure it's all on there good to go and there it is they're gonna be so cute 
in the little bridesmaid bags. I'm almost done. I ended up ordering 10 labels because originally we were supposed to have nine girls. Now we're down to seven. So I did get a couple of extras just for Hannah to have or whatever since I already have all of the labels for it. So I'm just gonna keep labeling all of these little rosé bottles. Something I decided to do at Hannah's bachelorette party was a lingerie party. I was a little nervous about this. I asked Hannah, you know, how do you feel, whatever, and she said yes. So I was like, okay, we're gonna run with it. And I decided to purchase her two sets because I literally couldn't decide. It was like very exciting. I was like, oh, I've never really looked into buying this kind of stuff before. But I went on for Love and Lemons, so they're a little bit of a nicer set. But I thought I'd maybe just show you like the tops of what I got. I got the matching bottoms with them too. But I'm about to bag them up for the lingerie party. This bag is from Rifle Paper Co. And this one I just picked up at target so just two kind of honestly very very different ones but i figured it didn't really matter she wasn't going to look at the bag too much but here is the first one very bridal it's got like little hearts on it very strappy now the tops for love and lemons cells you can return but the bottoms you can't so i'm really just hoping that they all work here are the bottoms bottoms for the next one and then this top i was like oh my gosh i'm so in love with this but I thought that these would be really nice for her honeymoon and sort of just to have a bunch of different sets from all of her friends who are coming and just to be able to have some stuff that she doesn't have so I'm gonna package these up just thought I would show that I don't know I just really appreciated I guess the quality of these sets and I just think that they are so adorable I think this is also super fun if you're planning a bachelorette party I think that if your bride's okay with it, go for it because it's just a way to sort of stock her up without her having to spend her own money. And it's like, oh, this made me think of you or this is what I think that you would like just so that she can have some things. So I'm going to package these up really pretty and get ready for all the rest of the stuff that's to come. Also, in case anybody is wondering, I just got the sweatshirt in today in the mail from Etsy. It like came across my sponsored whatever. I can try and link this down below. It's from We're All Mad Here or We're All Mad Here Co. on Etsy. I just loved the Adventureland. She does all of the lands at Magic Kingdom, but anyway, that's just a side note. <laughs> Hello from the Florida Keys where I am hosting Hannah's Bachelorette Weekend this weekend. Oh my goodness gracious. It is so warm and bright and beautiful here and look, at this beautiful fish mural that my mom has put on the wall. Oh my goodness, amazing. I am so excited to be hosting Hannah's Bachelorette here at our Keys house, so thank you to my parents for letting us rent it out for the weekend. I literally just got here. I only brought up all of the cold stuff. And now it is time to bring up all of the bachelorette party decorations and get to decorating. I gotta run to the grocery store a little bit later to get some food and some drinks, gotta see kind of what we already have going on down here and figure out what we need, but it is bachelorette weekend and I'm so excited. Let's unload the car. my stuff and now we're gonna head upstairs and start setting up so on my way down to the house I quickly ran into mrs. Max kitchen which is in Key Largo I believe and I picked up Hannah's favorite and I hope everyone else likes it too. But not only is it her bachelorette, but today, she's not coming today, but today's her actual birthday. So this is sort of like a birthday cake, bachelorette cake. I've got a full bag, oh gosh, of whipped topping, like literally frozen. 
and a key lime pie from Mrs. Max. It's like world famous key lime pie and let me tell you, it is incredible. So part of the bachelorette, we are going to be having a mermosa bar. Get it? Like mermaid, mermosas, mimosas. And we have our wine fridge right here and I've got eight bottles of Prosecco to load up into it. These are the Costco Proseccos, like I showed you. These are the bomb for $7.99. And it looks like we already have one in here and some other stuff, so in case, by whatever chance, we run out or don't have enough. I'm just gonna start to go through boxes and kind of, you know, okay, like this is a gift for Hannah. It's a little veil. I don't know if I've shown you guys this. Got this off of Etsy. I will try and link everything that I bought on any Etsy shop down below so you guys can shop small and support. It says trading my tail for a veil. It's so cute. I tried it in my hair. It looks adorable. So this will be here for when she gets here. Liquid IV we're going to attach to our little hungover seasick gifts. We've got mermaid plates, napkins, all kinds of stuff in case we don't want to do any dishes. We've got our goldfish. So it goes goldfish. The liquid IV and the Gatorade for the seasick. We've got jello shot cups for those champagne jello shots. Here's my electric balloon pump. This is amazing. It was like 20 bucks on Amazon. I bought it last September. It has been such a great investment. I've got pong balls for our beer pong competition. And out on the little bar cart, I'm gonna put our blue curacao and our Midori. I'm gonna be making these tomorrow as a lemon drop martini welcome drink. It's called a mermaid lemon drop martini. We didn't have any of those liquors, so I had to go buy those. Then we've got some games for the girls. Um, a little poster game <laughs> that we're gonna play. This box, we've got our champagne flutes, which I'm gonna wash tonight. Got these off of Amazon. I don't want anybody breaking nice champagne flutes, so for basically a dollar a piece, I figured that was a good investment. We've also got our cups for cup pong or any other mixed drinks. We're gonna be using the blue and the purple for the pong game. In case we want it in the water, I can always return it from Amazon. This little drink holder. Instead of getting a floaty, because we don't really use those down here, we like floats that tie up. Um, this little thing can tie up to a float and hold them on string. I've got many balloon kits. This one's a huge one with last splash. This one's like having to do with trading a veil for a tail or a tail for a veil. Um, and then this is a little uh, sign that I'm gonna hang up by our lingerie station. Last part to our hangover kits, other than the copious amounts of Advil that I have here are Gatorades, these are G2 or G0s, G0s. These are G0s in purple, pink, and blue, so in the color scheme and theme. And we're gonna be putting together our hangover kits a little bit later today. So yeah, other than the bachelorette gifts, that's kind of what I have here. I definitely need to make a Publix run. I have a running list on my phone, and I need to cross-check it with what we've already got here. Like I saw, we have so many different chips, so many salsas. I'm not even gonna go buy that because we already have it here. Whereas like pancake mix and chocolate chips I still need, so I just gotta like cross checklists and I wanna do that kind of before I get into like super decorating mode. <music> show you I just got back from Publix with all of the official groceries like juices fruits all that kind of stuff so I am gonna get this all put away but just that so you know we've got some groceries you guys I've only done one but how cute are the little hangover gifts so it is a little Gatorade zero like I showed you I hole punched in on the flavor blasted goldfish obviously these are way better than regular and then I decided to do one of each so I have passion fruit and watermelon for the liquid IV I love liquid IV you guys can use code Gracie O'Connor I believe it is and you get 15% off I'll put it in my this video isn't sponsored by them or anything but I do love them and I ordered off my own link and then the little printout this is seasick and then on the back oops there it is Hannah's last splash so I think those are so cute the goldfish ties it in and the colors of the Gatorades but I think this is so cute now I'm gonna use the little balloon pump I showed you guys earlier and I'm gonna start to blow up some of these balloons I was hand blowing all of the foil ones and obviously these are latex balloons in our color scheme of the teals and the purple and this one is a confetti balloon so I'm just gonna get these blown up and they're just gonna kind of sit on the floor till I figure out what I'm doing with them
Okay, so all of the balloons that I can blow up with the little machine are blown and floating around everywhere around this house. I realized that they aren't balloon arches. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm doing with all of them, but we're gonna find a place to figure out how to like get them attached to the wall, maybe for like a photo wall. I've got a lot of stuff still to blow up. I blew up a little last splash over here and then I've only done the E for tail to a veil for getting that up and I've just got to figure out kind of where I want to put all of it and where it's all going to go but I'm wondering if I wait to hang some of it up until tomorrow morning because I want to put some of the stuff outside so I'm just trying to figure out kind of how that's going to work out but at least most of the balloons are blown up and I'm going to start sort of cleaning up because confetti just got everywhere from some of those little balloons and there's just a lot of trash lying around and so I think I just need to kind of clean up as I go. I also left a ton of White Claws and Coke Zeros outside downstairs when I first came in with them from the grocery store because they go in the downstairs fridge. So maybe I can work on bringing down some trash and putting those away while I figure out what the heck I'm doing about decorating the rest of this house. I just got out of the shower because you all saw me this morning. My hair needed to be washed. I have finished decorating the house and I'm so excited to show you guys in just a bit because I'm still doing some final like cleaning up and touches, but y'all, I've been tempted. It is 12.50, so it's at least the proper time. I want to try out these champagne jello shots. For whatever reason, there was one that didn't get a lid, so I figured that would be the one I would taste test. Otherwise, the other ones are in here, and I'm going to put them in a cute little bowl in the fridge if they taste good. So I made this off of a recipe that I can link down below. I found it on Pinterest. It was a cup and a half of Prosecco, a cup and a half of this like white cranberry juice. They had strawberry cranberry, but I couldn't find that, so I used this one. A little bit of sugar, and I did put some sprinkles in here. I don't know if they all dissolved. And yeah, basically that's it. We're just gonna hope this tastes good. I'm just gonna pull it out instead of like chug it so I can just have a bite. These taste like straight Prosecco. Mmm. All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of the house. Remember, I did this all on a budget of $220 per person, not including the bride. Obviously, we didn't have to pay to stay at the house, but just keep that in mind that you can do it on a little bit more of a budget. Here is just one of the entrances to the communal bathroom downstairs, so nothing fancy. We do have this area over here in the Disney font. She wants the D, which I think is funny. This is the laundry. Oh, <laughs> anyway, this is the lingerie party table. I got her two different sets, kind of one for her birthday, one for the bachelorette, and what just fell is the custom veil. This is trading my tail for a veil. I'm just gonna have to try and stick that up there. Of course, we also have the gifting table. It's gonna be one of the first thing that the girls see is the little gifts that they get for the weekend and for coming and just to kind of all be matching and cute. I've been through all of this before, but it's the Lululemon belt bag dupe with the Stony Clover Lane dupe patch. We've got the visor, the little lineup of events, the Slim Can Koozie, the drink markers in here, the hair tie, and of course the Rose Prosecco split. Over here is not so exciting, but we do have little confetti cannons, some extra hair ties in case girls need it. We've got a lot of sunscreen. We're gonna have our mimosa bar tomorrow, just waiting on those frames. And as a welcome drink when everyone comes in and under the sea, lemon drop mermaid martini, which I found online, blue and green. It's gonna be super cute, as well as the Conk Coffee Co. little sign. I just kinda came up with all of these and made them. Then of course, on our clock over here, we have the 26 because it doesn't matter what time it is. It's also Hannah's 26th birthday weekend. Then as we head out, we've got the tail to avail on the sliding glass door and this one never gets crushed. All of those can, but this one will always stay. And out here, lining the railing, we've just got cute little decoration and some balloons. A couple of them popped, so it's a little bit more sparse than it should be, but I did know that this was gonna happen. It's very hot outside. But I just used some of the excess balloons to kind of create a little space here. You can see a balloon popped right here, a pretty teal one, but we've got 
balloons. Love the little fish wall that's with the house. And then I blew up this little drink cooler. We'll be putting this in the water tomorrow, but right now it is the bubble and pong station. These are the cups. They're gonna play for beer pong, cup pong, whatever you wanna call it, the pong balls, and all of the bubbles, the bubble guns, everything. And I've got the pong table just kind of already set up with a little purple plastic runner on it just to make it cute. Finally, we have this little last splash. This is actually an outdoor bathroom, but I did it so that when you pull it open, the A and the L just kind of hang off and you can still use the restroom while you are outside. And then sort of as a final measure, I do have this entire fridge downstairs stocked with all kinds of goodies that everyone requested. Tons of white cloths and neutrals. We do have some beer in here, Gatorade, tons of water and Coke Zero, as well as some sparkling waters. So really anything that anyone could have wanted. I sent out a Google form to everyone to figure out what they wanted to drink and eat. So that's kind of how I stocked the fridges and the pantry, but that is the house. Hannah is on her way. Some of her friends are also on the way and the other ones will be on their way after the work day. I'm so excited for them to come. I'm just in a bikini cause it is so hot right now. Plus I felt like I looked like Sebastian, you know, the crab from the little mermaid. So I figured that would be kind of funny. But now I just have some downtime to make sure that everything's clean and perfect. And also I have a couple of things I need to do for work, so it's perfect. But welcome to Hannah's Last Splash, and we're gonna have the best weekend ever. Okay, I just heard Hannah honk, which means she's pulling up. I just finished vacuuming. Time to bring her upstairs for the reveal. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Look how cute. Oh God, Gracie. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, they've already seen it all. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. That's this for is you. so cute. Just hanging up Did for you now. make this? No, I ordered that. Wait, really? Someone like Yeah. Wow. Drop your panties. Alrighty. <laughs> look how cute this is. Can I look at it? Yeah. So everyone's got a little visor for the sun. They can bring it to the wedding. You're here, welcome to Hannah's last splash. Check into our Keys Life and have pizza on Friday. This is cute. You got a little sash. I love it. Morning brunch, get your tan. Oh, beer pong. Yeah. <laughs> I lose. With water. <laughs> I lose. Yard games, appetizer, dinner time, lingerie party. Farewell brunch. This is so cute. We got little slim can koozies for the claws. Oh my gosh, I love that. It just said don't bring any more home, but I have extras for you. <laughs> it's mad, I like to collect these because then when we have people over, I have lots of them. I love it, it's so cute. Oh, is there more in here? Mermaid hair, don't care. So fun. Keys hair, don't care. What is this? this? That's a champagne flute. It's like a mimosa drink marker. Oh! So they have Like it goes on the rim? Yeah. And then everyone has their initial on the back. That is so, that you so know cute! You know which one's your drink. Oh my gosh, I love that. I thought these would be fun for Disney. I yes. tested it out already. I don't know if you noticed, I tested mine out at Disney when I went in California no. to make sure that the patches and everything stayed and they're just like the Lululemon ones. No, they're, they're so awesome. Oh, you excited? Hold on, hold on. Yay, and now we're just waiting for everyone else to arrive. And that was Hannah's reaction to the house. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just love this kind of stuff. I'm a total party planner at heart, so it just makes me so happy that I was able to do all of this for her. She's my best friend, so. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try and link everything down below in the description box that I have shown you in this video that you might want for your last splash. I love you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.